All right, IG students, we're carrying on with vectors today, and I would like to look at a couple of questions that I sent you, I, th I think I sent you these ones, in the, the textbook. So let's take a look and see how we go with them. So we've got this trapezium, and we know that OA is 3A and CB is 2A, the vector. Uh, and you can see they're parallel, they're just the multiples of each other. We know that X is a point on AC, such that AX to XC is 3 to 2. And uh, first of all, we've got to find A to C. So that should be pretty easy. Question A, we're going AC. And I'm going to find that by going A to O plus O to C. And that looks to me to be uh, minus 3A plus C, or I could write it more elegantly C minus 3a. Now b, this time I want to go a to x. Now you see that x is along the line ac and we know that we've got a ratio of 2 to 3 so we could divide it into five parts um, and three-fifths of the way along is a to x. So it's going to be three-fifths ac which means we're going to have three-fifths into c minus 3a. Now C, we're trying to find OX. Now what is OX? Now to get to O, we can go from O to A uh, plus A to X. Now O to A is 3a, and then we're going to go plus 3 fifths C minus 3A. Okay, might come back to that a bit later on. Oh, let's just carry on. So what does this give us? 3A plus 3 fifths C minus 9 fifths A. Now let's gather our like terms. Um, 3A is the same as 15 fifths A. Well, you can chuck this in your calculator if you need to. Uh, 3, so it would be 15 take away 9 which is 6 fifths. So I think I'm going to have 6 fifths A plus 3 fifths C. And so I can write that as um, maybe 2 fifths. No, hang on, what am I doing? Uh, 3 fifths into 2A plus C. There we go. That's probably what I'm going to do there. Now, D. What do I know about D? Well, D is OB. Now, O to B is equal to O to C plus C to B. And O to C is C, and B to C to B is 2A. So, not C plus 2A, or 2A plus C. Now, the last question. What do your answers about OX, which is this one here, and OB tell you about the points O, X, and B? Well, we got that it was 3 fifths of the way along the line, O to X. And that means that this is two fifths of the way along there. So, uh, um, what does that actually tell us? What do your answers to OX and tell you about the points O, X, and B? I'm not entirely sure what they're asking for there. Three fifths of the way along. Is that what they're asking for? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at what they ask in the. In the answer book, what do they say here? This is 9.14. 9.14. Oh, um, okay. Was that all? Collinear. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, of course. All right, I see what they're asking. Um, I've, I've already assumed that. I said it was three fifths of the way, of, uh, three fifths of the way along the line OB. Yeah, they're collinear, and the reason they're collinear, of course, 
is that they've got this bit here that's common to both of them. So they're, they're on the same line. You can draw a straight line through them. Okay, now the last part of this, um, number seven. Okay, so let's uh, get the data that we need. So we've got OP is P, yep. OR is R, yep. We've got Y is two thirds of uh, PY is two thirds of YQ. Oh, uh, no, it's two to three. Okay, so we've got this is two to three. Okay, there we go, two to three. And the li line RY is uh, extended to the point X such that RX is equal to five thirds times RY. Okay. Um, okay, now we're going to, first of all, we're going to find PY. Now PY is equal to, where is Y? Okay, what we need to do is find PQ. So PQ uh, is equal to R. And then we know that PY is equal to 2 fifths R. Because it's two fifths of the, we've divided into five different parts. See, now let's look at B, R to Y. Well, to get R to Y, I'm going to go R to O plus O to P plus P to Y. So I'm going eh, 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 like that. Now, R to O is minus R, O to P is P. And then I've got that two fifths R from my previous question. So all up, that means we have negative three fifths R. That's very messy. Negative three fifths R plus P. Okay. Now C, R to X. Now, We've got a piece of information here that Rx is 5 thirds Ry. Now we know what R is, so we're going to go 5 thirds times the previous question, Ry. What does this give us? Well, uh, that will give us negative R, because 5 thirds times negative 3 over 5 is negative 1, plus 5 thirds P. And D. O X. Well, to get to O X, we're going to go. Um, I've just found R X, haven't I? Uh, so I could go O to R plus R to X. I know that O R is R, and I know that R X is minus R plus five over three P because I found that in the last question. And this gives me 5 thirds P. Okay. Now, I've got to explain why OP and X are collinear. Well, the reason for that is OP is equal to P. And OX is equal to 5 thirds P, which, is, which means that they must be collinear because you've got the same, um, you've got P there and then OX is just simply a multiple 5 over 3 times that vector there, it's just a scalar, so they are definitely collinear. Alright, take care guys.